Hi everyone! Today I'm going to be doing a little tutorial on how to make newborn clothes for the newborn photo sessions that are styled. Newborn styled clothes can get to be very pricey. On Etsy I see them running for $50, $55, all the way up to $95 and $100, sometimes over. Um, and these vendors, they specifically make newborn clothes that will look good in our styled newborn shoots. But, if you're someone like me who can't necessarily afford a $100 newborn outfit every time you have a shoot, you get to thinking of thriftier ways to kind of put a set together that still looks beautiful and not tacky um, up by other means. And that's exactly what I did. So, what I'm going to be showing you is how to recycle and repurpose old sweaters to make newborn pants, uh, rompers, and bonnets or headbands. So first, get any old sweaters or sweaters you've ruined in the dryer. Um, this clearly won't fit me anymore. I accidentally uh, shrank it down in the dryer. So. We will be using this one, and maybe it'll be perfect for a little newborn leg to go in for the sleeve, so. Here is up close of the first sweater we're going to cut. I just wanted to get you a better idea of the material that we're using. And you see the brown inside is a knit material. And then the sleeves are this nice, fuzzy material that I think baby will really like, and the texture will look really good on camera. This is our first sweater that we're going to upcycle and I really like the center material, this brown. I don't even know that I want to make it into clothing, but I will just cut it out and um, maybe use it as a fabric to layer with in a basket or on a bean bag um, or even use it as a wrap to wrap baby up in. So I'm just going to cut that out. It doesn't really need to be cut that straight and seamlessly or be sewn together to um, bind the seams and prevent frays because if it does fray, maybe I'll like it. It'll look more, you know, texturized, it'll look more natural, and it kind of goes with a distressed theme if you have a distressed looking bucket or basket. Um, the frayed edges I kind of think are cool. So I'm not too worried about having the perfectly straight edges cut. Now I'm on the back side and I'm going to do the same thing. Here's our leftover material from the inside square that we cut out. We took a sweater from this to this. Now it's just these two cozy neutral blankets that we can use to layer or wrap baby up in. And I think they're going to look adorable in any set we put them in. I mean, how can you go wrong with this cute, stretchy material? It's timeless. If you'd like to see what I do with the remnants from this sweater, the pink portion of the sweater that is left over, please subscribe or hit the thumbs up so you can follow my channel. And we're going to make some really cute either leg warmers, a pant set, or a headband and bonnet set. So please hit subscribe if you'd like to see what I do with the leftover portions of this sweater. 